Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now today, as I mentioned in my last video where I did a little overview on this Macintosh Performa 6400 that I got, um, I said that I was going to be doing a macOS installation video on this machine and that's what we're going to be doing today. Uh, so I've you know decided to go with uh, macOS or you know system software 7.5.3. Um, because I do have this old Power Macintosh disc right here that I believe will work with it. It says that it's only compatible with the Power Macintosh 5400, 5500, and 6500 series, as you can probably see right there. Um, but it might work on this computer because it's a Macintosh Performance 6400, which I believe is very similar, if not identical, to a Power Macintosh 6400. So we're going to see if this works, uh, if it you know, will actually boot from this. And if it does, great. We're going to see if we can install uh, 7.5.3. I believe that's what is contained on here. Um, and if not, uh, let me just grab this right over here. Uh, I have a Mac OS 9 disk that we're going to be you know, trying to install if that doesn't work. This is version 9.0. Uh, and I believe the Mac, or, you know, or like this Mac Performer here can support up to 904. So this is just version 9.0. As you can see right down there at the very bottom. Uh, so if that doesn't work, we will install this. I also have a bunch of other disks over here of some other system software. So, you know, we've got a ton of different options to do here, you know, or to actually try out. So uh, first thing I'm going to do is uh, power on the thing, which you can do from the keyboard, which is super convenient. I am using the uh, my Apple II GS keyboard with this, uh, as well as, you know, this older, I believe this is from a Macintosh. Uh, so that are you know is the peripherals that I'm using and here we are on the screen right here I believe this is a pretty decent angle. Uh, I may you know decide to actually change this um, Go ahead and get it you know a little bit So it's more straight. I, I guess that's fine. You know, it's not Yeah, I, I guess that's okay <laughs> um, Oh, yeah, I got to put the disc in let me go ahead and do that um so yeah, th this is what it does, uh, you know, like because there was no data on it, as I mentioned in that last video. Uh, I believe that the lady must have, you know, formatted herself or must have gotten it formatted at some point. So uh, yeah, there is totally no data on it. it does not boot to anything. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and put in that CD, and it should start to boot from there. As you can hear, it doing right now, and there we go. Welcome to Mac OS. Uh, now, I believe maybe Mac OS 8 is on this CD, I'm not sure, um, but I assume it's 7.5, you know, some variant of 7.5 because um, the most of the Macs that it said, you know, like that this disk is used for, I believe, came with System 7. So let's just see what it is. Uh, we can, you know, go and actually check it out uh, once it boots up here. But... But yeah, as I said, if, you know, if this doesn't work, if it fails, you know, for some reason, of course, it's going to warn us about the uh, internal clock battery. Okay, so 7.6.1. So it's uh, Mac OS 7.6.1. So a little newer than 7.5.3, but that's all right. Just to confirm, we'll go up to the Apple menu here. And system software 7.6.1. And you see it says it's Power Macintosh. Uh, from what I read, uh, you know, I didn't really mention this in, in that last video, but the, the Power Macintosh 6400, you know, again, this is a Performa 6400, uh, and this does have the 200 megahertz processor, by the way, that's, that's what, that, that slash 200 in it, you know, 6400 slash 200, the, the 200 indicates that it's a 200 megahertz, uh, PowerPC chip that's in it, but anyway, uh, the PowerPC, PowerPC, the Power Macintosh 6400, is basically this computer that was sold in the education market for I think two hundred dollars cheaper. So that's really there might be you know some sort of difference, but I, I just believe it was uh, only sold in the education market. So we're gonna go ahead and install Mac OS right here. Uh, maybe there's no hard drive in this thing. I don't know. I mean, I kind of hope there is because that's gonna be an issue. But we're gonna find out. Um, so we don't need to update. I guess we do need to update. Let's try. You don't have an Apple computer. You, you may skip this step if any of the following is true. You don't have an Apple computer. You don't have Apple disk. Or, oh yeah, because by the way, this is um, uh, this is back from the time when Apple uh, actually licensed the Mac OS out to other third-party manufacturers, so they could. I, I believe the first time in Apple history that they ever did that. That you know they like like them themselves uh, sanctioned the 
uh, I installation of like Mac OS on non-Apple hardware. So yeah, that, that's pretty interesting. But so you may skip this up if any of the following is true. If it's true that we don't have an Apple computer, you don't have any Apple disk drives, you have an Apple disk drive, but it has been updated with an Apple driver. Uh, let's just continue and see what it does. Um, hope it finds a hard drive in here. I, I don't see why the hard drive would have been taken out, but yeah, it isn't. Maybe it has been taken out, or maybe it just doesn't need to, to be like to be updated. Maybe let's just choose a disk and see what anything comes up. No valid disks are available. Okay, well, <laughs> that's a problem. Uh, let's. <laughs> I guess there's no hard drive in here. I don't know why they would take out the hard drive. But yeah, I guess there literally is no hard drive in this thing. Maybe it's just, you know, I, I think I have a hard drive I might be able to put in here. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and boot from the Mac OS 9 CD and see if maybe that something's wrong with the CD. I highly doubt that that's the case, but we'll just go ahead and, you know, try, uh, you know, as many options as we can before I start taking this thing apart. So we go ahead and actually want to take the disc out first. And of course, it's not gonna. This like speaker in this thing is really loud, by the way, as you may be able to tell. So okay, so this disc is out. I for some reason had a I'd had a feeling that, man, if there's no hard drive in this thing, it's gonna be a pretty, uh, pretty bad video. So I'm putting in the OS nine disc right now. Uh, I guess I'll have to take this thing apart and like, <laughs> um which I did not really want to do because as I mentioned it's a total pain uh, just you know well it's a pain if you compare it to like most modern you know and most like regular PCs from the time where you just took two screws off the side and popped the casing off and it was good I don't know why somebody would well okay actually I, I, I know why someone would take the hard drive out of here because they don't you know in case that they gave it to somebody um, or, or if they sold I think they tried to sell this at a garage sale and you know nobody bought it um, so that's how that, you know, as I said, that's how that I ended up getting for free. Maybe they took the hard drive out of it, um, because they, you know, didn't want that to be sold, you know, if they had like any data on it. Maybe when she got a new computer, she took her, you know, like her old, or her old hard drive and put it in the new one. Um, I don't know. Okay, yeah, clock set to bad time, whatever. Yeah, usually if, if there was a hard drive, I think it would show up on the desktop here, but... Maybe there just is no hard drive in this thing. All right, well, that answers that question. We need at least 32 megs of RAM to install Mac OS 9, which we don't have. So what? how much RAM do we got? 16 megabytes. Okay, so, uh, yeah. I guess what I'm going to do is go ahead and try to uh, find a hard drive that might work with this. I don't even know if I have one that will. Uh, but we'll go ahead and try that out. That really, That really is annoying. I did not... I uh, totally did not realize that there was... Oh, I keep doing that. I don't... I want to... Let's go ahead and turn this on. I keep forgetting to eject the disk from here. So, well, that answers the question. OS 9 isn't going to work, so 7.5.3, or I think 7.6.1 is what was on that, right? Um, we'll have to install that, and if that doesn't work, uh, I don't know what we're going to do. But I'm going to go ahead and take this thing apart, uh, try to find. Let me go ahead and turn it off here. And uh, yeah, we're we, you know we're gonna see what happens uh, when we try to install Mac OS uh, or System Software Seven. So I'm gonna go ahead and start doing that, and I'll be right back. All right, so we are back, and as you can see, I'm in free cam mode here. And check this out. Okay, so there's a hard drive in this thing. I finally was able to get this uh, like this front panel off, um, and it's very nice that they actually make it really easy for you to change the hard drive all you got to do is there's this little tab here and you pull and the hard drive comes totally right out uh, so all I had to do was take this front panel off and it was actually um, it was easier than I thought it was but it still took a little bit you know too much effort you had to basically like pry these two annoying little tabs at, at the bottom here um, 
and then you had to like use i was really afraid i was gonna end up breaking because this is you know old plastic i was afraid i was gonna break it but i had to use you know one of these tools right here to kind of pry the sides off luckily i you know did not break anything i was using as little force as i could um but yeah there is a uh quantum hard drive in there and you can see it's totally connected so i don't know maybe this hard drive is just dead maybe something's wrong with the connection on this hard drive hopefully that's the case i do have a hard drive right here that is not time period uh like it's not from this time period at all it's 40 gigs this one is probably like let's see what's the what's the capacity of this? this is 2.4 gigs so uh this is probably like the biggest hard drive if i end up putting this thing in here probably like the biggest hard drive that you know that, that this computer has like ever seen um so something must be wrong with this hard drive i don't know i'm going to try and swap this hard drive uh, with this one. I believe this one works. Uh, I, I think I pulled this from, I, I want to say I pulled this from one of my Power Mac G5s. Uh, it is an IDE hard drive. You can see right there. So it will work with the connections that are in here. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and swap these hard drives out. I'm just going to, I, I'm not going to put this this front panel back on until I know that, that this works because this might be, you know, like a much more difficult problem to fix if it's something that's wrong with the motherboard maybe the cable somehow came out of the motherboard um but i have a feeling that this computer was never really taken apart before um uh i just i just have that feeling as this plastic was really hard you know to actually get off uh and i assume that's well it's probably you know because of, of like old age but it's probably also because it was just never taken apart so um yeah i'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go and swap this hard drive out with this new one here and see if it works. All right, so we're back and as you can see, I have the camera uh, back on the tripod and if I pan over here, you can see I have this very uh, totally jerry-rigged setup going on over here. I have not actually fully mounted this hard drive in here because I don't even know if it's going to work. Um, I, for some reason, I have a feeling that it's not this hard drive and something's wrong with the motherboard. I kind of hope that it's not the case, but I don't see why this hard drive would go bad if it's been sitting in an attic, you know, the majority of its life. But you never know. Maybe that's why that she, you know, got rid of the computer, or maybe that's why, you know, that she put it, you know, in, in uh, you know, in her attic. I really don't know. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead. Uh, I'm gonna power this thing on here, and I got all these like <laughs> all this stuff on my desk now. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and. There we go, okay. So, I can hear the hard drive spinning up. Okay, that's a good sign. Yep, the hard drive is on. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put back in that uh, that disc, the Macintosh, uh, yeah, this one right here for, with some 7.6 7 on it. Uh, I'll go ahead and run that. It's still not gonna find anything to boot from. Uh, So you can see it's now booting from the CD. But yeah, that, that really does not seem her. I don't know why they're hurting, because like I said, she didn't use it for that much, you know, or for that long, at least that, you know, that's what she told me. Uh, so I don't know. I mean, maybe, maybe, you know, the hard drive, maybe she just got, you know, like a totally bad hard drive with it. I don't know. But so we're going to have to go in and like reconfigure because this is obviously not formatted. Uh, for you know the uh, classic Mac OS uh, series of operating systems, so I don't know what's going on with the mouse here. We're not uh, really able to use the mouse. We are not. What is going on? The mouse is not. Oh, did it just go? And it just shut off. Okay, well that's weird. Did I hit the power? I didn't hit the power off button, did I? Maybe we have to go into the control panel and just configure um, Mac OS to install, or you know, just to configure this hard drive. I'm you know talking about the old one, uh, this old Quantum one. Maybe it just was never configured properly, but still doesn't make any sense because it, it it would ship with OS nine on it or you know, system system seven on it. So I don't know. I mean the hard drive is working like I said I can I can hear it I don't why is my mouse not not working what is this like 
Well, alright, we'll just use the arrow keys then, because I don't know why. Okay, can we not use the arrow keys? Can I, like, how... I'm, I'm not... It's just straight up not being responsive. Okay, so it's still responding to the keyboard. Oh, there we go. Okay, well, that was weird. Um, so let's go ahead and... Let's just install Mac OS. And... But I, I do want to go into... Um... So we do choose a disk for installation. No valid disks, okay. So maybe we have to... It's probably not even gonna, I mean, it's scanning for something. I don't know if it's going to... Found the CD-ROM drive again. Okay, I, let's just go to... Can we, can we even go into like system preferences or into the control panel? I don't even think we can. All right, well, let's just read 7.6 and see what it is that we gotta do. Some Performa, Power Macintosh, 5200, uh, 5300, 6200 is what this one has, or, or is what this computer is. 6300 cannot use, it just says some models cannot use 7.6 until a hardware problem is fixed. So, maybe the hardware problem is it doesn't recognize, or I mean, that would be a software problem. Well, let me try another disk then. I have a... What's this one? I've got another... This is probably still 7.6 though. I don't know if I have a OS 8 CD. I don't think I do. Does it say what version this is? I don't know. Version 712. 7.5. Well, this is... this. Whoa, I almost dropped that. This CD has 7.5 on it. This one right here. I've got another. This one is for the Power Macintosh 6100, 7100, and 8100. So I'm going to go ahead and try this maybe. Because it has 7.5 and it came with 7.5, 7.5.3. So, um, I don't know. It's worth a shot. Start disk will not work on this Macintosh model. Use the latest installer to update this disk for this model. Okay, uh, what's this one here? Is This one is 7.1.2. That's even older than what I got. 7.6.1 is the one I just tried. 7.5.3. This one right here is the original, the exact... That's probably what it is. It's probably that this is 7.5 and this is 7.5.3 and it needs 7.5.3. I'm probably just making no sense right now, but... Okay, so I've got one last, like, try here, I guess. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm booting off of a PowerBook G3 disk. Uh, which has OS 8 on it uh, is you know like this whole restore disk is for OS 8 and I'm gonna see I tried like all the other ones of these that I had for the like, like spe specifically says Power Macintosh and it has a bunch of different versions of System 7 on it and none of them worked uh, the one that will you know except for the one that I first tried that wouldn't find the hard drive which I think uh, might just be like a hardware problem uh, but I don't know, I'm just trying this because all the other ones gave me like a version error uh, and it said that, you know, that I, you know, couldn't boot to this until that I updated the software, which was strange because I tried it with 753 and 753 is the original, like, that's what, like, what OS came on this. So, this is OS 8. Uh, as you can see, it says PowerBook G3 over there. It's still not finding the hard drive on the desktop, but let's go to about this computer. So yeah, OS 8.1. Um, can we go? Okay, we can go to control panel. I want to see... Yeah, it doesn't let us, like, go... go it's, it's not a full install, obviously, but it's not, like... Let's just try to do it. It cannot run. Okay, well, that answers that question. I don't know why it's doing this. Why it didn't find the hard drive? All right, so this clip right here is going to have a little bit worse audio because I'm using the... Uh, camera's internal microphone for this, but you can see that I have totally taken apart the uh, Performa 6200 or 6400. Uh, what I did is I, I wanted to make sure that the hard drive wasn't uh, 
like that there was no issue with it which i have a feeling that i mean i don't know what to really make of this at this point but so you can see here this, this is what i was kind of talking about where this thing is a little bit difficult uh to take apart as you can see we've got all these pieces all over the place um but i got the computer taken apart uh somewhat at least and uh i could see that the the ide like look in here it's not really super bright but the ide cables connect to the motherboard right there and they're all connected. They're all, you know, in there perfectly fine. Uh, so what I did is I just took the hard drive out and to totally rule out and make sure that there's, you know, no problem with the hard drive. I got the uh, the original uh, $5 Dell PC out and I put the hard drive right up there. Uh, again, you know, sort of uh, in like a jerry rig fashion. And because uh, you know if you saw the video on this old computer which is like super old it's like from I think 2014 uh, you'll know that this computer did not come with a hard drive uh, so I uh, put it in it says primary drive zero and it just says unknown device I don't know if that might be because that this hard drive is was way too old it's you know it's like of a very low capacity might have something you know like to do with it it's also not uh, like a Windows formatted drive, you know, it's obviously formatted for the, like uh, for the classic Mac OS, but uh, yeah, it's not. I mean, I, I can hear that that the drive spins up. You can see there's that light blinking. That I believe is from the drive. You can see there's a little on the on the drive right there on that little board. There's a light that is blinking. So that might be something good that the drive is operating. It might be like an error code uh, light, but the system obviously is not. I mean, this system here isn't going to do anything, it's just going to fail the boot because, uh, you know, that it wasn't able to find any, uh, like, actual bootable drive. So, uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, I might just end the video here and kind of, you know, put this into, you know, like, like make this one into, like, a part one, um, and I might come back to this at some point. I may not be able to figure out what is wrong with this. Maybe some of you guys, you know, can, like, help me down in the comments below because I'm not... I'm not really sure what it is. I mean, I think it, it might be something to do with, like, the motherboard. Maybe it's that this hard drive is bad, but, of course, I tried to put in that, like, that other hard drive that I know. Well, I don't know if it works, but uh, it seemed to work because it was able, you know, like, to get power, but uh, the OS uh, 7.5 disk did not recognize it, or the 7.6 disk did not recognize it. So I don't know what to make of it at this point. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions, that would you know, really be appreciated. You know, if you guys want to, you know, or if you guys think you may know what the issue is, um, I I'm probably just going to end this video off here. Uh, and yeah, like I said, I may I'm going to you know do a little bit of more research on this. You know, see if I can figure out what the issue is. Um, but still, this is a, a a pretty cool computer. I think that it's going to you know go really nice in my vintage Mac and you know, just vintage computer collection in general. But as I said, I'm just going to you know end this video off here. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, uh, definitely be sure to give this video a thumbs up and be sure, as I said, uh, if you think you might know you know what the issue is with this, definitely be sure to uh, you know let me know down in the comments below and I can definitely take a look at that. As always, guys, I want to thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.